Welcome on day 4 of this online course Physics with Scilab. Today I will talk on the working with polynomials in Scilab. So in this we will see the creating of polynomials, finding the roots of the polynomials and various operations on the polynomials. So these are basic functions related to polynomials which are used for creating the polynomials, getting the information of the polynomials or performing some operations on polynomials. So first creating polynomials. Polynomials can be created in two ways. One way is to define the polynomial in terms of its roots and the other way is to define it in terms of its coefficient. While creating a polynomial, we must choose a name for the symbolic variable which I want to have in my polynomial. The symbolic variable name can be of any length but only the first four characters are significant. The other characters are ignored. Then indicating whether the polynomial is to be created in terms of roots or in terms of coefficients. Now let us create the polynomials in Scilab. So first I will create a polynomial P by specifying the roots of the polynomial. So P is equal to function poly in bracket 2 comma 3 the roots of the polynomial then symbolic variable and the last parameter I need to supply whether the numbers I have provided in the square bracket are the roots of the polynomial or the coefficients in polynomial. So here I want to have the polynomial with roots 2 and 3 therefore I have specified that the numbers 2 and 3 are the roots. So this is my required polynomial with roots 2 and 3. So it is 6 minus 5x plus x square. Now I will create the polynomial by specifying the coefficients in the polynomial. So let us suppose I will Take that polynomial is a q function poly in bracket then 6 minus 5 and 1 are the coefficients in polynomial in symbolic variable and third parameter to specify that the numbers provided are the coefficients in the polynomial. So this will give me a polynomial q 6 minus 5y plus y square. So here remember that the coefficients are provided in the order of the increasing power of the variable of the polynomial. So from these two examples we can say that the polynomial with two roots is a polynomial of order 2. Similarly a polynomial with three coefficients is also a polynomial of order 2. When the third parameter is not supplied it by default will take the 
supplied numbers as the roots. For example, in polynomial P, if I remove the third parameter, still it take or it will consider the provided numbers as the roots of the polynomial. Now let's perform some operations on the polynomial. So before that, I will create the true polynomial, suppose polynomial P with the roots 2 and 3 and the symbolic variable x. Another polynomial Q with the roots 1 and 2. The same symbolic variable x. So these are two polynomials P and Q. So let's add this polynomial. So I have to use simple addition operation. So P plus Q will give the addition of two polynomials. Similarly, P minus Q gives the subtraction of the two polynomials. P into Q to the multiplication or product of the two polynomials. Then P by Q, this operation gives me the division of the polynomials, which is a rational function. So, if I want to know the type of function p then i will write the command type of p so it will show that the p is a polynomial similarly if i give some name to this ratio suppose w is equal to p by q so this is a rational function and if I want to check, then I will use this command type of w. So it will show it is a rational function. So now derivative of it. For getting the derivative of the polynomial p, I use the function derivative so it will give me a derivative of the polynomial p so keep on verifying whether the results are correct or not let's now use this function companion of polynomial p it gives the companion matrix of polynomial P, which is the matrix whose characteristic equation is the given polynomial. Or the roots of the characteristic equation of the companion matrix are the roots of the polynomial of which this matrix is a companion matrix. So let's verify. If we write this companion matrix as k, so k is equal to 5 minus 6, 1, 0 matrix, and let us find the eigenvalues of this matrix k. So the eigenvalues are 3 and 2. 
so these are also the roots of the polynomial p we can also create the polynomial by providing the companion matrix of the polynomial for example if we take a matrix a with a 2 by 2 matrix with the elements in first row 1 2 and in the second row 3 and 4 polynomial P for which the companion matrix is A is obtained by the function poly A and the symbolic variable which X it is one way of creating the polynomial let's take polynomial p in order to compute the value of polynomial p for a particular value of the variable x we can use the horner function horner in down bracket for the polynomial p and then in the square bracket the values for the variable for which we want the value of polynomial suppose i have entered the four values then this horner function gives me the value of polynomial for these four values of x. So here, if the value of x is 1, then the value of polynomial p will be 2. If it is 2, then the value of polynomial will be 0. When it is 3, again, the value of polynomial will be 0. And if it is 4, then it is again 2. So you can verify it for example for value of 4 4 square will be 16 minus 20 is minus 4 and 6 minus 4 4 will be 2 so this is how one can get the values of the polynomial for for a particular value of the variable polynomial can be created first by creating a variable name as a polynomial of a degree 0 and then that variable can be used as a seed to create a polynomial for example we define x as a 0 degree polynomial This can now be used to create the polynomials. Suppose P is a polynomial 1 plus 3 into x minus x square. This will give a polynomial p so to find the roots of this polynomial i use command roots of p so these are the roots this command degree will give me the degree of the polynomial p the command horner P 
gives me the value of polynomial for the specific values of the variable. So for both x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2, the polynomial will have the value 3. Now derivative the polynomial p will give 3 minus 2x I can get the factors also by this operation factors of p so this will give me the factors of the polynomial p let us now create a rational function using a polynomial x of a zero degree. So suppose a rational function or rational polynomial is one plus two into x plus p x square divided by 4 plus pi u into x plus 6 x square so this is a rational polynomial take a derivative of this rational polynomial this is the derivative of p we can also create the matrix of a polynomial function so let's create a matrix A of a polynomial function having support element x square plus 2 then x minus 1 x cube And x raised to power 2. This is a matrix of a polynomial. 